When you've analyzed as many trick videos as I have, you develop a sense for it. That's simple wire removal. That's just a thing that happens when you do that. And this is, of course, a person in green keyed out from under a plastic... Hmm. Well, you can see the second guy through the first one, and you can kind of see the underside of the sheets with no one there, which is not something you can just... And the whole thing is happening in a real moving shot. For the first time ever, I'm at a complete loss as to how in the world this could... Oh, okay, I got it. I got it. Um, but I can't really explain it to you. See, this isn't just some gag by a kid on the internet. It's part of a whole series of legitimate video art by a digital artist with a Star Wars-worthy name of Kian Furuton. And to break down the super advanced techniques he used to create this, I'd have to basically first give you an entire background fundamentals course in computer graphics. So let's do it. <clears throat> Points connected by lines form a polygon, which defines a flat surface. Many polygons interconnected at various angles define three-dimensional structures in the computer so efficiently that a 3D model of this fake cap could totally fit on a floppy disk. Oh, crap, that was an antique. Of course, it would look like total garbage unless it's shaded through various algorithms to smooth out polygon edges and calculate how light would interact with surfaces in the real world, we can mix a bunch of textures and make the models look very realistic. The resulting image files are much bigger, and the time and processing power it takes to render them can overwhelm even computers like this! Ah, that was brand new! To make the models move, like in all your favorite animated films and games and game films, we have to puppeteer them by hand, but virtually, like stop motion, but better. But also we don't have to. Sometimes we can just make human monkeys jump around in the real world and capture their motion. Real human monkeys are prone to forming overly high opinions of their own performance, but motion capture data is humble and low maintenance and can be applied to anything, like a monster house or all the surreal dancers in this major laser video. But not this dancing baby from the 90s. This wasn't done with motion capture. Stop thinking it was. And sometimes the animation can be procedural, where we make math do all the work by simulating real-world dynamics. There's particle dynamics, rigid body dynamics, soft body dynamics, and cloth dynamics. Congratulations, you now understand everything about computer-generated images, with the exception of a few minor details. Now, let's re-examine the Dancing Phantoms clip with your new, educated eyes. Kian filmed a real background, tracked the camera motion, and placed generic human 3D models into it. He then threw virtual sheets over them using cloth simulation. To make those look real, he also probably photographed a spherical panorama of the location so that the environment cast light and reflections onto the sheets. And finally, he just turned off the humans. But the most important element of this whole thing is, of course, the motion capture dancing. And to recreate that, I spent a few thousand dollars on a state-of-the-art active marker optical performance capture system that can... Wait, I'm being told now that you can actually download all kinds of motion capture samples for free from the internet. That's probably what Kian did. But it makes me wonder. If the dance motion capture is pre-made, and the sheet behavior is simulated, and each of these phantom clips is set to commercial pop songs, then what part of this is the actual art? Is it the shiny, colorful plastic? I guess the shiny, colorful sculptures of Jeff Koons are considered good art, and so are the infantile scribbles of Romero Brito. But Jeff Koons has been known to copy other creative works and has been sued for it. And Brito sued others for copying his style. And that major laser video isn't a major laser video at all. It's an intro for an awards show made by Method Studios. And even though Kian Futuran is nowhere in the credits of this project, the stylistic similarities are striking. And guess which predates which. <laughs> the art world is terrible. I'm glad I'm on YouTube.